yes, our part has finally came in. It took about two or three days to come in through the mail, and this is what we will be installing underneath this cabinet. Um, added some of the cabinets. We'll add this for our goal tomorrow, and tomorrow we'll also look into doing the toe ductor because everything was closed. I really wasn't able to go and look for the supplies needed to install that. Hello everybody and welcome back to day three and four of our kitchen dining renovation. During this quarantine time, I decided to take up redoing the kitchen. We had started about two years ago, so I am finally going to finish this project. So just a recap of last week, we installed our faux wooden beam to that exposed ceiling beam up there. And we also did a drywall installation to cover up the exposed beam in the wall and in the doorway. So all of that went pretty well. I was really excited at how great it all turned out. So this week we will be installing cabinets as well as installing a toe ductor for our AC vent. If you haven't checked out that video, I will have that link down for you below. If you are new to our channel, hey, how you doing? And I hope you're in safe. Um, we wanna go ahead and invite you to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with our kitchen dining renovation. We will be posting our progress every Sunday at 7 p.m. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this week's video. Super excited and now we have to take some measurements and do some cutting. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I marked where the hole is going to go for us to install this. And I've also marked the holes for the drill to drill holes so we can install this. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, um, when drilling, make sure you use a diamond head drill bit to try to drill through this towel. And you also have to make sure that it's wet. So I have a spray bottle to kind of like continuously spray the hole that I'm drilling so it doesn't like overheat and crash. So I'm hoping I can do this. I could do this without him. I'm hoping I can. If not, we may just have to wait for him to wake up to help us install this, but we're gonna give it a whirl. So I'm gonna drill the holes first and then we're gonna go in and cut this. I attempted to try to drill the holes through the towel, but I I couldn't get it. And I didn't want to wake up my husband because he was asleep and he has to work late tonight. So I ended up just having to destroy the towel to expose my subflooring so I could be able to screw in the base piece over that AC covering in order to ventilate it through the toe kick of the cabinet. So I just took a hammer, a screwdriver, and just pretty much chiseled my way through all of this towel and grout. It got really, really messy and really dusty. I tried my best to, you know, clean up as I went, you know, to keep the dust at a minimum, but it was a lot. And <laughs> um, luckily I only had to remove what was on a uh, surrounding the vent. So I'm just making sure uh, that I don't go too far out side luckily the cabinet will be covering this so we won't even be able to see it once we're done all of my banging and noise that i was making i finally wrote christian up so he was able to help us install our new vent yay so he's just um screwing it into the subfloor and as you can see it is covering up that vent and it is going to ventilate the root and come out through the toe kick now we're just going to go ahead and cut our hole at in our toe kick. I went ahead and took the measurements and I'm using my oscillating saw to cut the hole through. The oscillating saw was taking a little bit longer than I wanted to, so I ended up getting my handheld saw. It's a really small one that I was able to at least do a straight cut on because I just couldn't keep my hand steady enough on the oscillating saw. And then I just went in with the corners with the oscillating saw. So that was fairly easy, not too bad. Uh, it was just kind of tedious because we had to destroy the tile. So um, at this point, we are just going to go in and install the last piece to the toe kick. We have to screw it into the bottom of that hole. And this is what happens when you have a creeper husband checking you out while you're working. 
So I cut the hole for the toe kick to come through, the air to come through a little too small. Those little flaps that you see right outside that hole, it need, they need to come out and around in order to screw into the toe kick. Unfortunately, my hole was too small, so I had to go back in and recut it. But after that, we got it done. All right, so we will be installing our cabinets today, and that's pretty much going to be me drilling a hole in the, the back part here so we can screw it into the studs. We'll have one there, one over there, there's a stud, and this cabinet in the corner, it'll only have one because there's only one stud over there, but we also will screw them together, so that's why I have these clamps here to hold them up or hold them together. Um, I'm gonna drill a hole on the inside part here. Sorry, right here. And uh, we'll screw it into so it can meet here and those will be together. And we'll do the same thing to this one. We'll drill a hole on the inside door here, right up against the frame and screw it in. As you can see, I already started putting some stuff in there, but I'm pretty sure I'll rearrange it once everything is completely done. So we go ahead and install the cabinets, I'll go ahead and start moving my food and stuff inside these cabinets so we can kind of clear up some of the mess right now because everything's a little disoriented, everything's kind of thrown around. Screwing the cabinets to the wall and together was fairly easy. I just had to pre-drill my holes before I went in with my wood screw. I use an inch and a half wood screws. I did have some help from Hubby. He helped me out with drilling in my holes. And then we're going to attach the cabinets together also using the inch and a half wood screws luckily the cabinets that are facing the bar wall those studs were exposed so i already knew where to screw that cabinet that is on the right side of the wall we don't know where those studs are so i'm then going to go in with my stud finder to try to locate my studs which i also need to locate my studs on this wall anyway to install the upper wall cabinets we'll be installing all of these cabinets onto studs I've marked my studs to hang our wall cabinet that will go right here. And I have to move this outlet. It's a little too high, as you can see. We'll have to bring it down a couple of inches. That line right here is where the cabinet is going to sit. The cabinet is going to sit above that line. Everything below is going to be the outlet in the backsplash. And as you can see, that outlet is crossing barely right by that line. So we'll do two at the top and we'll do two at the bottom just to make sure it's secure. And I also have plans on working on the refrigerator today to install the above refrigerator i also purchased that cabinet too so we can install that one today uh, i have to do some wood cutting i plan on putting a sheet of wood up against the refrigerator and that is going to pretty much enclose the refrigerator from the cabinets to uh, the wall and i have like blueprints like a lot of um, just in case people are like wondering where i'm getting this stuff from like i legit bought me a graph composition book where i could put down my measurements of what I need and this of course is called handyman clearance and this is pretty much where I get all my ideas from as you can see I sketch out what I need for my bar I've I've made these measurements a year ago so this was all just me waiting for my budget to clear for me to purchase these things and the cabinets was going to be the big, biggest purchase so we were able to make that that's the cabinets that we just installed with the two wall cabinets and the bar that I plan on making out of uh, from the two by fours into a counter this is the fridge enclosure as you see I drew the fridge where the cabinet's supposed to be. This is uh, the closure that I made. As you can see, I pointed out my sizes where I was gonna do my pocket screws at, as well as building the top shelf. And the above refrigerator cabinet is going to come forward. So it's gonna sit right here on top because I hate that, you know, the cabinets usually are, the, the cabinet we had before was sitting all the way back there. We had to use a step ladder and all that to get at, to have access to it. So we're gonna bring all of that forward so we have better access to the cabinets. That is uh, the plan for today. 
is to get all those moving pieces together. refrigerator here's the fridge and i'm trying to install this 36 by 12 uh, over the fridge counter and we're gonna lift it up it's not gonna be sitting on the fridge it's gonna be about three inches off of the fridge we're going to mount it to the wall and we're going to mount it to the fridge enclosure that i just cut out from some plywood and i just want to show you all how i have it secured in there so i have pocket screws pocket holes as you can see i have a bunch of mistakes because i had my measurements i had yeah if you don't measure it right you'll create these big gaping holes but anyways i finally got it right on the third try so that's why you see three holes up there and only one screw and same thing down here i kind of just messed up uh screwed it in pretty much into the cabinet this is a cabinet right here and uh, the enclosure is screwed into the cabinet going up and down this is the fridge and this is pretty much what that enclosure is gonna look like. It's a piece of wood going from the ceiling and it'll go all the way down to the counter. I didn't have enough board to finish off the bottom half, which is no problem at all. What I'm going to do is create the pocket screws to screw in to the wall and a pocket screw to screw in to this. So it'll be secured to that. And then we'll just take some wood filler, fill it in or some caulking, whichever one I choose to use, fill in that gap. As you can see where the saw cut the wood, that'll be filled in with either caulking or, or wood filler. This entire piece will be painted white to match the white cabinet. So what I'm going to do is mount the cabinet into this. I'm going to drill holes on the inside of the cabinet door and drill it into this wood so it is nice and secure. And we're going to do the same thing on the wall. We're gonna drill holes on the inside of the door and hopefully there is a stud over there. That is all that I'm praying for, that there's a stud over there I can use. With the door frame being right there, I, I'm doubting it, but we're about to check that real quick. If there is, then we will be mounting this bad boy. All right, real quick, I wanna talk about how I ended up mounting this above refrigerator. So I ended up putting this block, as you can see that right there. I screwed it into the enclosure and I did the same thing on the opposite side on the wall to secure that cabinet up there. There was not a stud on that wall and I just feared that that cabinet was gonna fall. So that was my way of making sure it was gonna stay up there. Monday, we will be purchasing the wood to create the counters for the cabinets, as well as the wood to create my shelves. As you can see those shelves, I built those up there and I'll be creating counters and I'm going to restain these to a darker wood. It's gonna be that same dark oak that we have on the beam right there. And I also have to pick up my last wall cabinet that they didn't have in stock. We have to purchase that on Monday as well. So we'll install that last cabinet and we'll also be getting measurements for the backsplash today too. So, and we will be backsplashing all of this, all of that up there, as well as behind the stove, that wall right there. And we will also backsplash this wall right here and we are finished installing our cabinets our tow ductor and completing our fridge enclosure everything is done for day three and four we were very productive and i love that i now have a proper place to store my pantry so this is the sad before we started our renovating as you can see we were using freaking cube shelving as our pantry and a pitiful corner with a trash can and a mop bucket so now now all of that has been changed and rearranged. I now have proper storage. My refrigerator is no longer cluttered with uh, chip bags and cereal boxes. We now have a legit cabinet and our refrigerator looks so nice now that it is now enclosed into that little corner. Thank you guys for joining us on our video. We hope that this gives you some insight on your next kitchen renovation. We will see y'all next week for day four and five where we will be staining our new counters.